my problems. <laughs> for years I've been a fool thinking that mighty Marvel would reward me for all my efforts to make the company a premier purveyor of superhero action <laughs> and hung up heroes. But year after year, I'm still nothing more than a wage slave stuck with an ironclad lifetime contract. And then, after talking to this man, I figured out a way. At last, <laughs> if I can figure out a way to financially ruin Marvel <laughs> without tarnishing myself or my many co-creations, Marvel will be thrilled to release me from my contract, my bondage. How can I ever thank you for suggesting Shalapra to edit the Toxic Avenger comic? The plan is sure fire. Marvel will be brought to its knees, and I'm sure I'll be able to get them to agree to anything. I'll bet I'll even be able to start my own company and get a production deal with Disney. Excelsior! Mission accomplished. Thank you and good night. This is a salad roasting. If it weren't for Stephen King, our next guest probably wouldn't have any decent material to make movies from. He's brought us such classics as The Stand, Desperation, and Masters of Horror. He's known as the nicest guy in the business, which is true. I can tell you the only time he had a mean bone in his body was when I raped him behind Hamburger Hamlet. Please welcome Mr. Mick Garrett. I do. <laughs> I do want to set the record straight. Lloyd can direct a turn down the toilet and has done so many times on film. <laughs> I first met Lloyd at a film festival in South Korea. Before that, 